All right, Max, tell me, tell me what, what, what do you got for a setup on your hot rod? Well, right now I'm going for uh, all heavy machine guns except for one specialty rocket launcher. I plan to uh, shoot that when things get tight. But for the foremost, I'm coming for the experience. I'm uh, trying to get my guy some uh, good experience up there and probably read a few cars. Hopefully read a few cars. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, so far my plan. I plan on a going after some kills i tend to think that gets me uh, more wins not worrying about first place yeah th yeah on this kind of thing just go for it or sometimes the guys that hang back uh, do well too but yeah so uh, do you have oh, any, yeah, do you have any uh oh, sorry do you have any blood blood uh revenge that you need to take care of during this race uh, i i usually have two uh, sayings when I play games is uh, for this one it's usually I hate dirge but for the foremost it's mess with mad hate <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give him a special one <laughs> alright sounds great my man um, good luck out there thank you thank you in the old country Taz Tell us about your hot rod. Well, my motor home has got lots and lots of heavy weapons. I've got a pair of CCs, I believe, in the front, and a pair of ATGs in the back, and a little bit of uh, paint on the sides, which uh, might come in use, but we shall see. We shall see. We've also got a roll cage in case someone decides to uh, get close and cuddly. Be me. <laughs> so, uh, so are there any of the so what do you feel about the hazard cars could, the, could they end up being a target to you um, the hazard cars they don't look too impressive on, if I'm going to be brutally honest they have a napalm flash which might be helpful might be useful but I've got reinforced tyres so hopefully I won't be rolling around and steal them the other ones, we got a um, carry fan, I believe, somewhere, don't we? We also have a carry available with mines, that's just going to die. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that is just going to die and blow up. And I don't know, is there another hazard car in this? I haven't seen it. Oh, yes, there's another flash with the powered micro missile launchers. Um, I'm not sure they're really hazard cars, they're more like target cars for bonus points. <laughs> That's what I look like to me. Kind of what I was thinking. <laughs> right. That impressed me in previous events. We've had fire engines and ambulances with bits of water, some HRs, but this one is. The motorhomes are more dangerous than the hazard cars. Yeah. So, do you have any? Uh, do you have any uh, blood blood revenges to take care of during this race? Do I have any blood revenges? I don't think so, no. I, mean, I can't remember who's in there. I think well, Sam's got in, so I've obviously got a kill with it. Despite being on Sam's team for the, for the um, Christmas events so many times. But apart from that, there's nothing else really on my hit list. Yeah, the so, Hill Sluggers seem to take it rough in all these events. Uh, well, <laughs> it's the only chance you get to play with. See, may as well leave him up all of his own blood. But yeah, I think that's that. All right, Taz. Well, hey, thanks a lot for the interview, and uh, good luck out there. Thank you very much. All right, that was Taz from the Blood Roses. I see Rockin' Rams is, uh, tell us about your hot rod, Rockin' Rams. Well, pretty much. When I first started, I was going to go dual Rams front, and then I had have like a Fletcher and a HFT t on my left. But then, after some testing, I decided to switch those two. So my my idea is, I'll come up close, maybe get a HFT shot or two on you, and then drift around you. On me? And then, and then <laughs> if anyone comes at me while I'm... And they have... I've got, like, my right to them. I've got a heavy smoke there and then my back is rocket booster and 
MML. Sounds like a potent combat. Girl's bastard sends up coming in last minute. That'd be him. Not really. I'll just be wrecking random people up as they end up in my path. Pretty much. Equal opportunity destroyer. All right, that was DWG's most hated, also known as the Rockin' Rams. Joy. All right, Matt. Hey, tell us about your hot rod. Well, I got it at the last minute, so I grabbed some random stuff out of the back and threw it in there. I got to put a plow on the front and some uh, some flame on the side. Hopefully, I get to get close to people and catch a bunch of things on fire. Do you have any uh, any revenges that you're out there to fill today? Or? Uh, no. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and just turn the names off of all the people, just so I randomly kill people rather than picking on somebody. Equal opportunity <laughs> killer. Nice. How do you feel about the hazard cars? Uh, well, I'm hoping to see one of them explode or be too close to uh, a motorhome that explodes. I imagine a flash getting steamrolled by a motorhome with a ram <laughs> on it would be pretty rough. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah, that would be real nice. Uh, two flashes. One has dual front on the mountains. What the heck? What does it think it could do? All right, Matt. Hey, it's good talking to you for a second. Uh, good luck out there. We'll see you after the race. All right. Do Max, and then I'll do mine. I do Max. 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 All right, now we approach the pole dancers, Sir Nexus. Or Nexus, rather, my bad. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay, well, I'm not showing up to that race. Sir Nexus, tell us about your uh, motorhome. <laughs> oh, well, uh, we put more thought into the paint job than the armaments. I basically <laughs> threw on whatever was lying around the garage. <laughs> So uh, she's good to go, and I might not win the race, but I'm going to be the prettiest thing on the track. Good accomplishment. Good. Um, so uh, how do you feel about the hazard cars? Are you going to avoid them, or are you going to take them out if they get near you? You know, I'm a racer first and foremost. Death is a secondary hobby for me, so I'm going to try to win because I want to win. Anything that gets close to me is fair game. Perfect. All right. Is there uh now last question really? Uh, you have any uh blood revenge you need to take care of on this race? Is Joel in it? <laughs> We've heard that more than once already. <laughs> oh, then I'm good. Nah, you know everybody dies the same to me. They get over it. <laughs> Nobody wants to be on my bad side for too long. All right. How about some uh? <laughs> where 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 where? We're ready for some uh, epic smack talk. Well, hit, hit us up. <laughs> I don't have any. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get let's get Haiti in here before Sam shows up. So, All right, so it's Haiti, not Haiti, and, and I'm gonna clarify something for y'all because I know everybody. There's a few people who know what my handle it came from or what it is or whatever. First of all, I'm not a Caribbean island. Okay. I am a wolf that chases the moon. If I catch it, the end Happy, of the world. Not lady. As far as the race goes, um, I intend to cause chaos and destruction. I cause I, I drive everything like a muscle car anyway. This is just a bigger muscle car. Um Blood revenge, meh, not so much. Uh, there are a few people that um, are going to pay for stupid things that they have done in my scouts. There, there is a little revenge coming. You don't worry, you know, you know who you are. Well, we'll make sure we have the Kings of Metal drone on you. And as far as uh, prettiest, I had to deal with base colors, but no one else has a rock and smoking gorilla if you had a decal like mine. Um, and I brought a, I brought a, I brought a few fun toys. It's going to be a good time. Um, other than that, 
good luck, guys. Yes. Good luck out there, all of you. The interview, so I'm going to start off with... Uh, okay. Just going to start off with... Uh, what, what did you uh, What did you bring to the show? What did I bring to the Faster Pussycat, is it? Yes, sir. Well, I, I like uh, heavy rocket racks. So I've, I've got a lot of heavy rocket racks on it. They're... Uh, I find they're really good when, like, towards the end of a combat, when you're, everyone's almost dead, and everyone thinks everyone else is dead, and suddenly the heavy rocket racks come out. That sounds pretty yeah. brutal. <laughs> so, but I, but I, this is going to be mental because because <laughs> these are these are like heavy weapons, rigs with no armor, with no strength to them. So it's just going to be mayhem. All I right. Think. How do you feel about the hazard cars? Are you are they a target for you, or are they just something to avoid? Um, something to avoid. I, maybe a target because they're quite weak this time. Not like this is something Goat usually does, but usually the hazard cars are a lot stronger than the than the uh, competitors. But uh, maybe this is a time that you know we can get them. <laughs> Normally we're in Chevaliers or some shit, and he's got box fans, you know, but. We've got a lot of guns. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be pretty wild. Um, so you you have any uh, revenge, any blood revenge that you need to take care of during this race? Oh, I don't think so. Um, I guess I, I don't really play it like a regular player. I, I, I used to, I used to try to, but um, you can't. Yeah, I can't. I can't really develop around a player really in a way because he can give himself whatever he wants. Yeah, no, not just that, but I got into, at one stage, this is a long time ago, I was in a kind of a feud, and we were, we were in an arena combat, and I had somebody in front of me who I could have just cut to pieces as part of the feud, and I said, this probably isn't the right thing for me to do, you know? Alienating the player base, I that guess. That being we'll be said, I'll be the first one to put a bounty out on, on the creator. If you guys can take Sam out, I'll put 10k up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have 10 on it, too. Okay, whatever you guys put up, I'll double for you to not do. I'm going to need that money in advance. <laughs> Just make it a better million. Well, all right, Sam, I don't want to hold you up too long, but I want to give you the chance to, uh, you get the floor, buddy. Uh, tell us tell us what you think about the game's resurgence right now and uh, any future plans oh, you might fine. be thinking. The resurgence is fabulous. It caught me by surprise. Um, obviously, I've seen the numbers building up, I think, from around October last year. Um, actually, was, I, did, I did some graphs on it in December. Just just came out of nowhere, really. But uh, I think it's it's a self-fueling thing, isn't it? Um, and I think I think a lot of it's to do with social media, possibly Facebook. Because a, a lot of the old players are, are friends on Facebook. They've, you know, they've made friends over the years. Um, so they've all seen each other starting to talk about it, and and it's kind of it's kind of steamrolled itself, you know. Which which is cool. It's brilliant. It's fantastic. Um, so yeah, I've been discussing I've been discussing a few bits and pieces that I'm going to do with X Men, and we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I, I like I like writing stuff for Darkwind. Um, and if if there's players there and they're appreciating it, then that's cool. All right, Sam. Well, hey, thanks a lot for your time. I know you got to go uh, do some last-minute things for this race. Uh, and like yeah. I said, I really appreciate it. So are you all racing? Oh, I'm, I'm in there.
Nice shot. It looks like that vehicle may be leaking fluid. Is that blood? Oh, there's red. Sorry, let's aim for a full dent. I'm telling you, Tez is gonna light me up. Oh, someone killed Sam's kid, they're in trouble. Oh. to make sure that uh, I didn't end up, I would get the cause so in some way. So it wasn't me to come. <coughs> this nature booster isn't doing anything. Oh, that's it. How am I on fire? Hey, 
Napalm. 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 Nap
Oh, that's uh, quite the oil. <laughs> That's another book. I don't miss the um. Oh, I I just realized the timid's dropping. Okay. Now I just gotta stay uh, out from behind them. Th that they don't roll to me. Okay. <laughs>
it's going to be hilarious if Roller is wins this thing. It's the entire time he's been cruising at 30 miles an hour just narrating people. Uh, what, what is Offense doing? He has been sneaking around the whole damn time. There. He was down by mine, and he's cutting through the course, and then he hit out in the corner where everybody else was, like, in chaos. So I don't know what he's doing, but he's being tricky. But he managed to get out, uh, ended up getting killed by the crash. Which is the black cat attack? Yeah, I'm fighting with Darv right now. Whose vehicle is the black cat attack? That's mine, offense. Black cat attack, that's offense. Yeah, he's, uh. Let's see. Fighting Darv. He's in 13th position, last place. Yeah, what all he has to do is drive past here. and burn him. What did your uh, RV look like? My RV? Yeah. My RV is red and has a uh, a gorilla decal, a smoking gorilla decal on the side of it. I don't know. His how. is black with a red pussy cat. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's up and going with his. Yeah. Are you he in the ditch? the whole time. Oh, I was doing all right. I, I, I was doing fine until uh, I turned right in front of Joe's car cannons. Oh, uh, <laughs> lovely! And he flipped you. No, I'm, flip right you? Up, I'm, I'm, on, I'm on wheels. It's just it killed my dudes. Or it bled my dudes. My dudes bled out. They're unconscious right now. Uh, I might get them. <laughs> So because it's a race, it only allowed us to load a driver and a gunner? Yeah. Because it was a yeah. town event. Yeah, because not having a full crew, that really kind of <laughs> messed things up. <laughs> I had my uh, RV filled up with good guys. I had uh, a bunch of gunner goons, but the thing is, is that I'm kept on rocket launchers. Like, I, I hate them. Uh, I will single out rocket cars the whole nine yards, but I'm out of rocket launchers on both sides of mine, and it's, I think it surprised the hell out of people that I use them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, y'all kind of expect the napalm gun. Come on. I like the world on fire just about every scout. Yeah. It's true. Do we get to keep our, our blown up trucks? Yeah. Still run, which mine doesn't because it's got a dead engine, so I guess I'm going to have to return. Well, as long as it didn't blow up, you got to keep it. Well, that's good because, like, I'll keep our, uh, I'll take the five liter out, fix that thing, and throw it in something, I don't know. Uh, one of the big pickup Oh, big pickup, big pickup nice. No, I'm seriously thinking about uh, switching my combat fleet for Apache. Oh okay. shit, that trash talks about to best somebody up bad. Yeah, I went for straight Apaches. Oh, oh the specials we can talk about a million times. Uh, yeah, I just don't go fast to my apes. Well, uh, I had to go fast because all of the damn phoenixes in the world were about to rain down on top of me. Ah, uh, yeah. I usually take two apes and I pull like four to six cars. Yeah, and uh, we we had uh, 12, 13 cars in our in our squad, and we pulled two, two returns. Now I pulled nineteen phoenixes the first one, and eighteen phoenixes the second one. Nice. Yeah, That's I'm not even bad. I'm not I'm not even counting the rocket trucks. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what I did, what I did in the last one was I managed to get one of my apes out, but I run them out, and I had two chasers left on me, and that was their mistake because uh, the one that escaped was a rampachi, and um, it didn't end well for the, the for the phoenixes. Hmm. But they hit me at seventy miles an hour. I lost eight points of front armor and damaged my guns by like ten percent, and I think one of them almost exploded. That I'd call that an even trade. Yeah. I'll take that. That sounds fair. Yeah. But, uh... No, I'm gonna be doing 
just change it up. And I'm sure there's some big ticket items that I got just laying around in my garage that I'm never going to do anything with. See, like what? Well, it, the collection started because I won that five liter, that, that uh, one of a kind engine in the sleigh ride. And I only won that because uh, Braun, Clan, Clan Hammer, was sitting there shooting at people as they came across the finish line. <laughs> <laughs> And he knocked somebody out before it occurred, so I won this one of a kind engine. And I was like, oh, that's very cool, but I don't race. Mm. Who, can I, who can I sell this to that races all the time? So I got in touch with VA, and I was like, hey, would you like a one of a kind motor that nobody else has? And yeah. like, yes, I, I would like it very much. And so I traded him that for a fire engine and an ambulance, both did outtake guns. Mm -hmm. Nice. Well, the first time I hit the reset button, so I was telling you all about well, that's that's solo scout, so I got everything but my flash out of my garage. Um, I, I sold the other agent a joke, he just kept adding stuff to the list. Um, so that's where I got my buzzers from, of which I have one left because Blacklight Kid, or uh, Badlands Gateway sucks. Um, <laughs> I've got my Turin, which. Uh, <laughs> The first time I told somebody about it, I think I almost gave him a stroke. He's like, you have a turn, that's cool, that's a, race, that's a nice race car. I said, yeah, I used to haul gas cans. He's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Two gas cans at a time? No, no, all seven. <laughs> nice. Different paths, dude. Yeah, I run up to camp wherever my, uh, when my uh, pickup trucks run out of fuel. Um, hmm. But I've got a turret sitting there that I'm not that, that I'm probably gonna keep it because I like I like it. It's it's fast, you can outrun anything. And I've been caught in some bad spots with it, like uh old seven on one firelight manhunters, they were all in fast muscle cars Ooh. around and I just walked away from them. Uh, nice. Then I've got my buzzer which eh, I don't know. i I may keep it. Um but I need to get away from using the heavy stuff. And really, really kind of concentrate on my on my on my guys I got left training them up because they're at that thirty to forty range where a few good scouts and they can actually have specs. Motherfucker. Yeah. Um. My big pickup with the car cans on it. I'm I'm thinking of pulling the car cannons because yeah, it's fun, but they're ridiculous. And every time I fire them, it knocks the damn pickup truck around. <laughs> yeah, I, I put my car cannons on the uh, buzzer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I may just pull them and sell them because uh, really I don't have the guys to use them. Even <laughs> 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 the doctor won't be able to fix that, man. And then I've got the ambulance. Switch. Ha, ha, ha. 